was a mutiny among soldiers in the town of Kati, about 15 kilometers from the capital Bamako. Pictures on Twitter are said to show two cars carrying President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita and the Prime Minister Bubu Sisi. Other video has also shown protesters who've been calling for Mr. Keita to quit, celebrating in Bamako. Ahmed Idris is following developments from the Nigerian capital Abuja for us here on the News Hour. Ahmed, nice to talk to you again. Uh, what's the latest information we have? Well, basically, the information we have right now is that um, the, the, yeah, the, the, the information that President Bubakar Keita and the Prime Minister have been arrested, and they are currently on their way, or right now, inside the Kati camp, which is effectively under the control of the mutineers. Um, early on, like, you, like we said, we, they have arrested senior ministers in the government, the foreign minister, the finance minister, speaker of parliament, and other senior officials and senior military top brass. If these people are in fact in the hands of the mutineers, then effectively it's a coup, no longer a mutiny, because they have all the powers to negotiate. They can negotiate to form a government, they can also negotiate for, their, for a way out with anybody who is interested in negotiations. But it doesn't look like they are interested in negotiations. The report we're getting right now out of Bamako is that probably the military will make an announcement shortly at, um, at 8 o'clock local time, which is around uh, 20 GMT. So we wait to see whether or not that happens and what the military will say. Now, right now what we know is that governments around the world have condemned the, the coup, uh, coup or mutiny as it is. The United States, we heard some from France, we also heard the ECOWAS the regional bloc and the African Union condemning it as a, an attempt to unconstitutionally overthrow a government. We need to see what the next uh, action, line of action of these countries will be. We know already that the sanctions they apply on member states, especially the African Union and the economic community of West African states, that execute a coup, a coup on a, a, military, a civilian government. And the punishment actually is to ostracize them, to take them out of the union, as well as impose some economic and political sanctions. So we wait to see what, if this is indeed a coup, we wait to see what these uh, organizations and institutions will do in the next few days. I suppose, Ahmed, it is fair to say